isn't lunch yet. <laughs> Just kidding. How about a cheese curd? Hi guys, welcome to Off Our Needles. I'm Jody, And I'm Tracy, and we're the Grocery Girls. We are, and today it's everything Canadian style. We've all heard of continental knitting, yeah. and English knitting, Portuguese knitting, even Portuguese knitting. Yeah. But today we're gonna tell you all about Canadian knitting. You're gonna learn how to knit nicer. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. You guys are gonna be very polite to each other as you're knitting. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fantastic. This hat squeezing my head just a tad. <laughs> So how do you know if you're knitting like a Canadian? You're always knitting with a maple scented candle burning. Uh, first row is worked, knit one, purl one, A. Eh? You apologize every time you drop a stitch. Sorry. You work your colors in your favorite hockey team. You always knit on the Chesterfield. Who says Chesterfield? <laughs> knit bulky wool projects in the summertime, actually all the time. All of your measurements are metric. You swear allegiance to Celine Dion with every stitch. Of course you wear your hand knits 11 months out of the year. That's actually close to accurate. <laughs> if someone says they like your knitting, you'll actually give it to them. Do French Canadians knit differently? Hmm, I think maybe we should ask some. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so there are lots of different ways to knit. We are English knitters, which means we hold our yarn in our right hand. Yeah, that's also known as throwing. Yeah. Uh, continental knitters use their left hand, and that's also called picking or pickers. So that's pretty common, I think, in Europe. Lots of continental knitting. And then there's also that Portuguese knitting. It's where you tension your yarn around your neck through a little pin, usually, and you're using your thumb to do the purling. And I feel like I've heard lots of people that have arthritis and it's a lot easier on your joints. Yeah. So Portuguese knitting is a big one. I feel like I might choke myself with Portuguese knitting. Can you imagine super bulky yarn? You could totally tighten it yeah. right around your neck. <laughs> okay, so I actually have tried continental knitting because a lot of people feel that if you're a continental continental knitter, yeah. you're much more, you're much faster. I've tried it too, but it definitely changed my gauge. Yeah. And I feel like I'm just too lazy to get the hang of a new thing. I'm, I really I love my English knitting, but continental, I feel like I should try more. Just so you know, these techniques are all about how you're holding your yarn. Yes. Not how you're knitting your stitches. It's so true. You can do any project in any styles yeah. of knitting. Even though I knit Canadian style, mm -hmm. I like to try <laughs> one of these other styles too. Me too. I really got to try that continental again. Okay, so here we have the Sea Holly shawl. It's yes. a free pattern on Craftsy.com. It is, and it's a really simple lace shawl that I think is a good one if you want to practice a new way of knitting. It's got really easy pearl rows on the back and there's some garter sections. And I think that's a really good way to switch it up and maybe try continental in the garter or maybe try purling Portuguese style across the back. I think that's a great suggestion. And then at the end, you've got this gorgeous shawl. And you can get, of course, the pattern in the link in the description box below. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching How to Knit Canadian Style. We hope you guys try to knit Canadian style because it's pretty much yeah. awesome. It's the <laughs> nicest way to knit. It is. Yeah. You're going to love it. Pop on the Chesterfield, light your maple candle, and put on that Celine Dion and knit like a Canadian. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up if you liked our video. What, what do you think Canadian knitting is? <laughs> Isn't that good? Isn't that good? Thanks a lot, you guys. We will see you next time on Off Our Needles. Happy Canadian knitting, eh?